Hi foxes, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany. I am also known as Shop Foxboro on Poshmark, Instagram, and Etsy. And I have a lot of new people following, subscribing, so thank you all so much and welcome to my little vintage and fashion loving channel. And I hope you find some content here that you can really enjoy and learn from. Uh, today, I thought I would give everyone sort of an update on the booth that I decided to do and also do a little mini haul of things that I'm going to put in the booth. So if that interests you, if you're interested in vintage clothing, stick around. So a couple of months ago back in July, I decided to reach out to a local consignment store that I really love um, called MNC Clothing. And they have been around for over 20 years, so they're like a really well known um, store in the community. And they opened up a couple years ago into like a bigger space that they've really um, just done so much with, and it's just a great store to go in and shop. Um, and then they take consignment from people who just bring in their clothing or, you know, their kids' clothes. They take kids, um, women's and men's and then like juniors, baby gear, stuff like that. And I just thought that if they would have me, it would be like the perfect location to do a vintage booth in because a lot of the struggle that I've had in the past is that if you were to pick a booth at like a regular antique market, because the people who are going there, yes, they're interested in antiques, but they're not necessarily interested in clothing. So I thought that the being interested in the clothing part was more important than the being interested in it being old part. So it turns out I was correct. Um, the aspect of it being a clothing store, a consignment store, where there are already a lot of people going um, who are looking for clothing and it's where a lot of teens in our area shop. Um, it's just been really great for me. So I thought that I would kind of give you some stats on like how much I'm making, how much my booth fee is, uh, what I'm taking in and like how much I've sold, stuff like that. So I have that stuff written down here and um, yeah, I'm gonna let you guys know the skinny and then I've got a haul for you that is all going to my booth. So I reached out to them in July and I ended up opening the booth sometime around August 1st and my first sale was August 3rd. Um, it is just $80 a month for me to be in this space and I will insert a picture over here of what the space looks like. It's pretty darn big for $80 a month so I am just like so happy about it. They do have other handmade vendors um, and so I pay $80 a month and it's been three months thereabouts so I've paid $240 in fees so far. And I have had $935 in sales. So right now I have $775-ish waiting for a payout, um, which I'll hopefully collect this week. And my first booth fee I paid out of my business account and then they just detract uh, $80 from my balance every month after that. Um, I have sold 68 items and they do take returns there for seven days and of those 68 items, two items have been returned, um, probably for fit or something like that or maybe somebody bought them for like their daughter took them home and she didn't really like them. Um, but anyway, so I have sold, what is that, 66 items um, and yeah, I'm just so excited. I just, I love doing this booth and I put little tags and I send a list of all of the items and the prices to someone at the store. They print off their tags for me because they all have barcodes and then I have to like put their barcode tags on my tags and then hang them um, with their hangers. And then I usually go in and just like pretty up the space and um, do some visual merchandising because I love that sort of thing. 
So I've just been so happy um, with this opportunity and I'm just gonna keep going as long as I can. They get a ton of traffic during, you know, the holiday season because they have like handmade gifts and stuff like that. Um, and people are always looking for winter gear. They're looking for stuff for their kids. They're looking for things for themselves. It's just a really popular consignment store here and I really love it. Like I liked it as a customer. So it's, if I liked it as a customer, then it's like the right type of place for me to sell stuff. So I have been trying to keep everything in my booth about $25 or less. I think I have two things in my booth that are 30, 35, and then everything else is under $25. So I'm gonna show you, these finds are straight from the Goodwill outlet, which I finally had the chance to go to um, this weekend. I went on Saturday and I got some stuff. I was just like pulling all the vintage out and buying, uh, you know, anything that I thought was fun um, that I could take in. So this is like a 90s, little athletic crop top and I'll probably put this in my booth for about eight bucks. It's like a nice cotton jersey. I always find it so much more comfortable to work out in cotton stuff than I do that like athletic stuff because I feel like it makes me all sweaty. But anyway, about eight bucks for that. This is a vintage Lucky. This is like early like Y2K. This is an old Lucky brand tag there. Show you there we go and it's just this purple like dip dye ombre um, thermal and then it's got embroidery all down both sleeves I'll probably do something like I don't know 12 bucks 15 bucks for that I picked up these 1970s Wranglers they have the old tag in there they are a nice lighter wash, but they're a bit pilly. Um, but I think these are actually, like, they might fit me. They might be my size. Uh, but they're kind of just like a wide leg uh, or, like, bootleg men's jean. All of the men's jeans that I have taken in have sold very quickly, um, probably to women. Uh, they're all, like, vintage Wranglers, vintage Levi's, and I'm selling them for $18 a piece. So, I am going to wash these, and then, because these are pilly, even though they're a bit older, I think I might just do 15 on these, um, and see if there are any takers. Now, there's not enough space for me to take all this stuff in at once, so I'll take some in. I usually try and go, like, once every two weeks, and I'll just take in some more stuff. Um every time I go. And these are older Gap jeans. You can see they have like this, let's see if you can see that. It's like a paper tag. Um, they are size 36 by 29 original fit. And um, Gap used to have, well, okay. These aren't vintage vintage, but they're from 2005. Anyway, they are a button fly and they are worn. They have paint on them, which is always a favorite of mine. Roughed up hems, so I'll do a nice wash job on those and get those into the booth for around 18 bucks too. This is a pair of Levi's. They're 505s. They're, I don't think that they're vintage. They're just um, nicely you know, broken in. And I like to get the Levi's with the patch on the back. They have a little bit of paint on them. They're like a really medium-y wash. And 505s are like a good kind of um, mom jeanish look. And yeah, same thing with those. The last few pairs that I took in, just like within two days, these, these jeans will sell. Like I'll take in a pair or I'll take in a couple of pairs and within two, three days, they're just gone. So I'm just trying to stock up, give the people what they want, you know. Uh, this is just a denim dress, Willow Ridge, um, like a darker wash and like midi length. This kind of thing is pretty classic right now. I mean, you see these types of dresses on like Madewell and J. Crew. Um, just a denim dress. 
the last silly hat that I took in sold very quickly so I got this little leopard um it's not real leopard for just so you know uh but I got this little faux leopard uh hat to take in and I just thought it was so funny like I don't know it doesn't look good with the way my hair is right now but <laughs> I don't know this little hat there we go it's just silly anyway I don't know if people use them for costumes or they just like them but I thought this was fun I'll probably charge about 12 bucks for that next up is a hand knit cardigan and it's actually very beautifully knit and this is like a wool um, like angora or mohair but just look at that knitting down the front and it's just really pretty and it has a, these pretty little cuffs too and it's like this mauve pink color I just thought it was nice and I've seen this color um, going around um, even though I don't think of it as a fall color it seems to be a fall color this year so I'm just gonna go with that that one will probably be about 20 bucks this <laughs> This is like a 70s or late 80s bridesmaid dress. It has like that high neck. It's a peach like polyester satin, but you can see the little hearts there and it's maxi length and it was a nice shape, no stains or anything like that. So I'll probably price this around $15 and you know, if somebody wants it for like a costume or a photo shoot or they just like it to wear it, then great. I used to find tops like this all the time but I just don't anymore. This is an Oscar de la Renta 100% silk with shoulder pads, little yellow top. Very pretty. Um, I don't know how much I would charge for this. Probably like 18 or 20 something like that because it's silk. And let's see another pair of jeans. These are Wranglers. They are a 36 by 29, which I have had there before and that um, particular like shorter inseam has done well because ladies are short and it has a little bit of like wear and tear. This was my favorite. You can kind of see that's a little like holes. I don't know if they got like stuck in something, but I dig it. I just really liked the print on this vintage chouse top. It is 100% cotton, but if I show you the print, there's like these songbirds or something down here. And it's just got that very like Indonesian sort of look to it, like a Indonesian batik fabric. It's got the birds here. You can see that's like a butterfly there. Um, so probably like 12 bucks for this. I just, I just liked the colors and thought it was fun. I have been seeing these everywhere on Poshmark recently, just like 80 sweaters. Just, I guess they're a thing again. So I used to pick these up when I first started doing, um, vintage and selling online, but they took a long time to sell usually, unless they had like some kind of really awesome print on them. But people are loving them right now, so I just got this one. It's like an intarsion knit, um, which is when the design is actually knit into the um, sweater. It's not like applique on or sewn on. It is called an intarsia knit. And this has like a little mock neck and it's just like kind of full, kind of leaves. Probably do that at like 20 bucks. This one I love. I might save for spring next year, um, but it is an all that jazz dress and it is a cotton and linen and it's just a partial button down midi dress. Oh, all the way button down midi dress with like a little slit at the front and it's got some nice like, let's see if I can show you this. Can you see this? It's got like nice tailoring lines here so it's gonna be very like hourglass and then it's got the little belt in the back so that you can really like cinch that waist in and get that hourglass shape. If I put that in my booth probably 18-ish.
Hey, what's up? I'm... Would you like to be in my video? Yeah. Come here. I want to talk. Okay, talk. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. When you are on camera, you're supposed to look at the camera lens and not at yourself. Can you do that? It's hard, isn't it? This is the lens of the camera right there. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> I'm Christopher. Yeah. Uh, I like dinosaurs. Yes, you do like dinosaurs. Anything else interesting to say? I like swimming. You like what? Swimming. Swimming, yes. All right, I got to do this video. Can you go and wait for me? Yes. Okay, great. Well, Mom, also. This one should go very quickly. It is like a stretchy velvet, um, like slip dress. And it's from the 90s California Concepts. And it is stretchy, mini length, slit in the back, all that good stuff. Probably put this in there for about 15 bucks. And if I put dresses in the booth for like 12 to 15 bucks, they're gone in like a day or two, which is great. Considering I got some, uh, like I got all this stuff at the bins and I paid $1.20, $1.39 per pound. Um, yeah, it's really good for me. This is another little slip dress. Its tag has been cut out, but it is a larger size. Um, I like this print and I liked the colors, but it's just very basic slip dress. So again, 12 to 15. This one I might wait on until next year. This is a rayon dress, needs to be steamed, but I just really liked the print on that. And then it buttons down the front and it has ties that, like ties in the back. Um, and then just like a little, you know, A-line skirt. If I put that one in there, probably like 18 for that. Another sweater. This one is just acrylic and uh, just weird, you know, kind of like, I wouldn't buy this for my closet, but it seems to be like that, like teenagers are enjoying the weird 80s trends. I don't know. We're just going to roll with it because I'm in my 30s and I'm not hip to the teen stuff, I guess. <laughs> I love this piece. This is a vest, except it's also a duster. Ah, so cool. This is probably going to sell pretty quickly. Probably put it in there for about 20 bucks. Uh, just because you don't see stuff like this all the time. It's like this brocade -y type of fabric. Um, probably a rayon or some other kind of synthetic. I think rayon. I don't see any tags in there, but I loved that. I would actually put that in my Poshmark and Etsy store, but um, yeah, it just requires less work if I <laughs> put it in my booth, so. Sweatshirts have been really popular and they're not really my jam, but I saw this vintage jersey sweatshirt there's the vintage jerseys tag. It's a size large and it's just got this cool mirage. Um, is it Miami? No, Las Vegas. Um, with the palm trees and so that is a casino, the Mirage Casino. And yeah, I don't know, probably like 15 bucks for that. Oh, so I picked up this skirt. This is by Bila, which is a very popular, like, hippie brand, um, and this used to be a size medium, but it is quite stretched out now, so I would probably say that it is about a 4X now, uh, but I'll put this in my booth for probably $15. a few more things. This one is an Angora and Silk sweater. Beaded, jeweled, paisley, hearts, like yeah that, that's got it all. 
Um, again, with the like, probably 20 bucks, 15 bucks, something like that. I definitely want it to sell quickly because when it sells, I can put more stuff in and I've got all this stuff to get through and it doesn't all, it's not all gonna fit at my booth. Um, it's pretty full right now. I think I could probably take in about 10 things, so I want things to sell so that I can bring in more. Uh, this is another one that I might wait until next year. This is a little 80s, 90s jumper. It's got shorts and just love that like um, floral print. These are getting harder and harder to find, but they are a lot of fun when you do find them. And here is the tag on that. Rayon. It says it's a size large, but that doesn't look like it would fit me. I don't know. Maybe a junior's large? And then the last two are just tops. This actually, I think, goes with that denim dress that I showed earlier. Because uh, it's the same brand and the same wash on the denim. But it just has these little, like side button tie detail so I, I think you would like tie this up into a little knot um, but I'm just gonna sell that as a top I feel like denim tops are just like timeless you see them at every single year J Crew, Madewell, Anthropology, Free People you just you see a denim top it's not gonna go out of style so probably like 12 bucks for that and I just got this stiff cotton um, tank top and it's got, actually I don't know that this is cotton, but I, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it's cotton. Um, and it's got buttons down the front and this little pat, or, um, insert pocket that is actually a pocket. Like, back in the day they used to be able to put pockets on the front of women's shirts, but now we can't even get them in our pants, you know, like, get with it. Um, yeah. But just a classic little uh, tank top. Probably do like eight to ten dollars on this one. And um, yeah, I've just been enjoying picking stuff up and then taking it right back out of my house. So that is it for this haul and for this booth update. I know you guys also want a palette update. I am working on that. It's been slow going. I have run my numbers once um, and so I'll try and do a video about that sometime soon but I'm not quite ready for it yet. I do have another haul that I picked up at the same bins trip but this is going to be stuff that um, I'm deciding to list so there's some really great stuff in there. Some really good vintage um, and a couple of modern pieces that I want to show you all. And yeah, so if you like this video, if you like this content, please do give me a thumbs up. It means the world to me because it means the world to, <laughs> to YouTube. So um, if you engage with this video by sharing it or giving it a thumbs up or commenting down below or just, you know, even clicking on it and watching, then YouTube loves that and it just really helps me and it helps my channel. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, do hit the subscription button because I would love to have you. And if you are already subscribed, if you hit the bell notification, then you get notified every time that I post a new video um, or like in the community tab so you can get updates if I'm going to miss a week or I want to know what you guys think about um, like what type of video I should do for the next week or, or whatever. Um, but yeah, just do all the things and sell all the stuff. That's it. <laughs> all right. So I'll see you guys next time. I love chatting with you in the comments. Leave me a note down below. See ya.